Okay, so this is the showcasing of ET controllers uh, and just uh, brief notes before we start. This game application is not developed by us, it's developed by Valve to showcase their index controller but it's perfect to showcase our controllers. Uh, we are The ET controller for SteamVR is composed of two devices, the controller itself for finger tracking and the ET tracker for spatial tracking using the SteamVR system. Uh, we designed this ourselves uh, for the ergonomics and kind of getting the perfect balance for ET controllers. Uh, in terms of the functionality, they are equivalent to the existing Vive trackers. They're exactly the same, so you can actually use them for limb tracking. Uh, and yes, so these are the controllers. You can see I can control each finger one by one. They're the range for the finger tracking is all the way from almost uh, air sensing, you can see, to kind of a squeeze kind of pressure level. Uh, you'll be seeing the pressure level somewhere, uh, sometime later on. Uh, we also have these LED slider. Um, these LEDs are sliders, yeah, slider. Uh, so they can be used as a button or like an analog input from like, uh, on like this Y axis. We have the trackpads as well. Uh, there's another thumb input on the side and let me put yeah there it is this menu button here on the tracker Ooh. and if I show you this squeegee ball you can see like the analog range that, uh, that you can have with our controllers I can throw grab oh it's gone can grab a grenade, activate it with like a thumb press, throw it. Same with the other hand. I can grab this gun. Uh, the idea is there's no physical switches uh, compared to like the traditional con gaming controllers. Everything is supposed to be intuitive based on gestures. So I can uh, fire with my thumb pad or I can fire with my index finger. Same with my left hand. I can interact with game objects. There's actually haptic feedback. You obviously won't be able to see it, but there is haptic feedback. So let me go to a different environment. This is going to show you more of the uh, pressure sensing. I can grab an object, I can bring it over here, and I can crush it. So uh, this is actually from the game side. As you squeeze harder, the hand vibrates more. And you can see the change in color of the rock as well to show how much pressure you're applying. And then eventually, you can crush it. So there's a bar that fills up as I crush more rocks. I can grab this tiny man, I can throw it away, sorry. Grab more rocks. There you go, the rocket ship has gone. Okay, let me move to another environment. This particular game environment has a very strong haptic click to make you feel that clicks when these items are clicking with each other. So I can grab items with a finger pinch or just by grabbing naturally these items. Whee! Yeah, as you can see with the base station there and there, it's not the best tracking environment, but more hopefully intuitive controls. Okay, next environment, the car buggy.
Okay, so that's another gesture. Point to teleport. And let's go to where these cars are. So I can grab this controller. Uh, my index finger to accelerate. Uh, it's an analog feedback, so the the more pressure I apply, it's gonna go faster. And I'm using my trackpad to steer it around. You can try and control both cars at the same time. Sorry, little man. And let go. You can see that I'm using my pinch gesture to select items. So, pinch gesture to select items. Everything gesture based. But yeah, more squidgy. Yeah. That's it.